Hello YouTube, Luigi here. It is uh, two days before Christmas 2014. I'm at my brother's in Arizona, and I'm looking at some of his knives, and this one is really, really a special, and um, I think it's even rare. My brother says this is a 40-year-old knife. It is a Cutco Copperhead Mountain Man. Now, the Mountain Mans are more commonly known as uh, single blade trappers. It's got this beautiful jig bone scale, which is somewhere between a walnut and a purple. It's just a real warm tone. It's got this medallion on here. I can't get it too close to you without getting out of the light. But I can't figure out what's in there. It appears that there might be the beginnings of some oxidation. And I can't quite make it out. You see it has a lanyard hole, brass pins, and it looks like stainless steel liners. We'll open it up. Here's your back lock. Uh, before you open it up, the fit and finish on the spec spine is uh, just excellent. It's seamlessly flush. You can Helen Keller this and get that sense. So let's open it with the nail neck. Good snap. It has no back, uh, half, half, what do you call it? <laughs> half stop. It has no half stop. It has this snake etched onto the blade, which I, I'm glad to report is nowhere near as obnoxious as I thought it would be. It's very subtle. The tang reads cut low, cut co, Copperhead. Now, my brother, who did all the research on this, and I have no reason to doubt a word of it, says Cutco is um, is owned by K-Bar. That's interesting. Cutco is a name that's been around for a long time. He claims this knife is 40 years old. This has never been carried, never been sharpened. It is cherry. This one is mint. And he's made some noises that he might be willing to sell it. If you're interested in this gem, get a hold of me and I'll get the info to him. I hope I'm not over speaking there, but he's talked up. He thought he would buy this as a rugged carry EDC, and then he saw how beautiful it was and how rare, how there are very few of these in any kind of decent shape out there left. He decided, yeah, maybe I want to just keep it in the drawer. Maybe I want a beater for a daily beater and not something this pristine. And this good, but I tell you, if you did choose to carry a knife like this, this is a rugged, uh, lockback mountain man, and it would serve you well. It really, really would, because it's single blade, it's not as fat in your pocket. It's got some heft to it. I think the, the, the copper bolster is distinctive. I wonder why they didn't go with brass liners, which I think would have been color wise more compatible with the, uh, with the brass bolsters. A beautiful knife, people. A very, very beautiful knife, any way you slice it, especially if you consider its age. And this is what happens when you don't get used. You stay young and pretty. All right. Unlike me, who's taken on quite a patina. <laughs> Listen, guys, it's two days before Christmas. God bless you all. Everybody, uh, draw close to family and friends. And uh, tell them that you love them. And let them know how much they mean to you. Okay? God bless you. I love you all. Bye-bye.